Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Got a little bit of a treat for you today. This is three magnetized Eldar War Walkers. And just want to point out a couple things before we dive in. First off, the canopies have yet to be glued on to these guys here. So, but when they are, they will look a little something like that. In fact, uh, they almost set there really nicely. And what I hope to do is give you some insight into this kit and um, so that when you do this yourself, you will be uh, better equipped to uh, undertake the magnetization and painting and assembly of Eldar War Walkers. Okay, first off, the canopies have this little sort of hook piece on them, and uh, a lot of people will actually cut that off. Uh, for these guys, since you actually glue it on here, I would... Um, I, I, I actually like to, to cut it off. Now some people will put like little uh, markings, like targeting stuff, like there's some kind of heads up display on the back there. Now I'm a fan of painted canopies. Now when you're a client of BTP, a lot of armies will have the option to have painted canopies or clear. And the clear actually does cost a little bit more. So uh, this is a case where painted, the, the less expensive option, uh, actually is better, in my opinion. So anyway, uh, so that's that. Now when you glue these on, if you glue them on with super glue, uh, there's going to be uh, possibly the super glue acetone can frost the glass. So you have to be really careful with that and be very sparing and uh, delicate when you put that on. You can use plastic glue, but you also have to make sure that you carve off any primer or paint on the bottom as well as on the point that you're adhering it to. See all the great tips that I'm, that I'm giving you for this? So anyway, uh, also, let's go ahead and get a close-up on our middle war walker here. Now, the war walkers are really awesome in the game. They're very versatile, and I do recommend magnetization. Now, when you go for the magnetized option with blue table painting, you, um, uh, the, the standard default, uh, and, and it'll say as much on the kit, so make sure, make sure this is clear in your quilt what exactly is getting, getting magnetized. So, for example, uh, if it says all weapons magnetized, we default assume that means all weapons that come in the kit magnetize. However, there are some kits that, that uh, the army list entry actually has more things that are in the kit, and those things need to be converted. So when you're getting a quote and you're setting up your project, just, just be clear which it is that you want, because we're more than happy to oblige, but um, you know, we, just, we need to know what, what it is that you want. So anyway, um, so the War Walker kit is very elegant. It has these two little wings on the side, and those actually can be, you really want to plastic glue those on so they'll fuse. Uh, plastic glue will actually melt the plastic to each other so it becomes one piece. So, But the, these are a little bit of a problem area because they, they tend to break off if you haven't glued them on properly. Um, now, uh, of the five, when you buy this kit, you only get one each of the five weapons. So if you want uh, every possible combination, including doubles, then you really do need to um, arrange that ahead of time because it means we, we'd have to draw from our stock. And because uh, you're basically you're talking about buying two kits just to get the weapons for that. And quite frankly, it's not really needed because the new Eldar rules make the scatter laser twin link. If it hits, it twin links the other weapon. And that really is absolutely the way to go with these guys. Uh, a twin link to Eldar missile launcher is, is, a, really, is a really fantastic, um, fantastic deal. And here's why. Because it can shoot a, a strength 8 AP3 missile and uh, so that would be twin linked. So if you, if you have three war walkers all shooting the missile launchers, then you can, um, um, you, you can get a pretty, good, a pretty good hit rate. In fact, uh, it's uh, 2.25 2. hits per three war walkers. So basically reliably two hits, uh, probably uh, three in many of the cases that you actually shoot them, in addition to the scatter laser hits, and those each get four shots. So this combination is actually really, 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 really good. 
Uh, now, if you want to go anti-infantry, uh, you can still use the missile launchers because they have um, also uh, plasma missiles, uh, and those would be re-roll the scatter dice if needed. So it's it's a really good combination. If you want anti-infantry in another form, though, the star cannon is good. Star cannons are strength six AP two, so they are great against uh, space marine equivalents. Really, absolutely fantastic. Now. Um, by the way, I, I say uh and um a lot. That's a habit I'm trying to get out of. So if you hear that, I certainly don't like it. I am really working on that. All right, so what else about war walkers? Oh, the magnetization. So first off, if you're going to magnetize things, have what I call a, have what I call a master magnet. And that means you, what you do is you take a, a surface like this, maybe a piece of board or something, and you actually glue a larger magnet on there. And then this becomes a polarity that's the same on all the magnetization that you do. So it's called a master magnet. BTP has had the same master magnet for about eight years now. And so all the polarity for every single thing that comes out of the studio is exactly the same. Uh, at least in theory. So, and then, so whenever you're doing a host point, you make sure it matches up to this polarity. And so on these guys, you'll notice that there's tiny little grooves. Let's see if I can show this. There's like a little, uh, not a groove, but there's a, a tongue that sticks out. And what we do is we drill out that tongue and we insert the magnet flush with it. So when it's done uh, well, like this one is, uh, it actually merges, it merges pretty well with the, with the, with the gun. Uh, I do recommend, if you need magnets, I recommend going to uh, miniwargaming.com. They have a really great line of magnets that they sell. And the mini wargaming guys are just great human beings overall. And uh, we, we definitely really like them and, and have had a good relationship with them. So anyway, uh, so there's your, there's your war walkers. Um, the uh, so same thing here where there's the uh, the groove you actually drill it out with an eighth inch uh, drill very gently and you just insert the magnet and it, it turns into a relatively natural portion of the of the model all right well folks thanks for tuning in it's much appreciated and uh, keep btp on the top of your list for all your miniature assembly and painting needs we'll see you tomorrow